Yan. Okay. So, for this video, I will teach you how to do split half method using Excel and using SPSS. Okay. So, let's start with Excel. So, how to use it? Uh, how to use split half method or how to do split half method using uh, Excel. So, let's start with this example. So, suppose I have a 10 item quiz and then I also have 10 students. So, kung makikita nyo, we have student A to J. And then, yan yung mga scores nila from item 1 to item 10. So, you write 1 if their answer is correct and you write 0 if their answer on that particular item is wrong. So, for example, student A. So, tama siya from 1 to 5, then mali siya from 6 to 10. So, kaya, tigwa 1 from 1 to 5, then puro 0 na from 6 to 10. So, yun lang yung gagawin nyo for all the students. Okay? And then, as mentioned in my lecture, so, di ba, pag sinabi nating split half, so, you divide the items into two. So, yung uh, even numbered, tsaka yung odd numbered. Okay, so, ang gagawin nyo, you just fill up this column. Okay, so, for X, kung nakikita nyo dito yung X, so, fill up nyo lang dyan yung, uh, ilalagay nyo lang dyan yung average nung odd numbers. Odd numbered items. So, paano yun? So, equals, you write average. So, average ng mga add numbers. So, ano ba yung mga add numbers dyan? So, yan. Item number 1. So, comma. Number 3, comma. Number 5, comma. Number 7, comma. Number 9. Then, you close. So, may average na kayo. And then, so, click nyo lang dyan. So, pag dinrag nyo to, pababa, magpo-formula na rin yan for the other items. So, meron na tayong average for uh, odd numbered items. So, same thing with Y. So, sa Y naman, even, even numbered naman. So, you write average, may mga even number naman. So, 2, then 4, 6, 8, Yan. And then you drag. Tapos, the next column will be XY. So, ibig sabihin nun, since XY siya, you just multiply the two columns. So, yung column for X and then column for Y. So, anong formula nun? Equals, you click the first cell for that's for X, tapos multiply. Yan. Asterisk. And then, Yung sa y naman. Click nyo lang. And then, equals. So, yun na siya. Then, you drag. Ayan. And then, you drag this one. Ayan. So, that's for x, y. And then, next, x square naman. So, since x square, so, equals, di ba, ito yung x. So, you put this one para maging square. Ayan. Square na siya. And then, lastly, for y naman. So, equals yung y naman ang i-click ko. Tapos, square. Ayan. So, after getting that, you get the sum. So, kung maginan nyo sa baba, may sum. So, equals sum ng etong lahat ng x. So, yan siya. Close mo. Ayan. So, sa lahat, ganun lang din gagawin mo. Sum. Sa y naman. Dito, papalitan nyo to. Kasi mali yung formula dyan. So, gawin yung equal sum pa din. Dito lang lagi. Ayan. And then, for this one, ganun din. Palitan nyo. Sum nito. And then, sa last column. Sum. Okay? So, yan na. Kompleto na yung ah... Uh, table natin. So, dahil kompleto na yung table, the next thing that you need to do is use 
the values in the formula. So, ano ba yung formula natin? So, punta ako dun sa formula. So, ano ba ang formula natin? Ito siya. Okay? So, yung formula natin, yan. So, kukunin nyo lang yan dun sa mga sum. Okay? So, kung gagamitin natin, so, R sub 1 equals N. Ano yung N? Number of students. So, we have 10. A number of items, rather. So, 10. So, 10 yan. Times summation of XY. So, ano ba yung summation of XY dito? Ito yun. 4.36. So, 4.36 ang lalagay niya dito. 4.36. Minus summation of x, summation of y. So, hanapin nyo yun dun. So, summation of x is 7. Summation of y is 6.2. So, 7 tsaka 6.2. Then, all over the square root of... So, n is 10 ulit. Times summation of x square. So, punta tayo doon, may kita nyo na 5.08. Okay, so 5.08. Minus summation of x na naka-square. So, tignan nyo may igim. Magkaiba yung summation of x square sa summation of the quantity x na naka-square. So, dito ang kukunin nyo summation of x muna, which is 7. Tapos, tsaka nyo yung square. Okay, doon, In-square muna bago inad dito sa 5.08. Dito sa 7, inad muna bago in-square. So, magkaiba siya. So, same thing goes with y. So, 10, summation of y square is 4.12. So, 4.12 and then minus uh, summation of y is 6.2. 6.2 na naka-square. So, lahat yan may square root. So, yan. Tapos yan, ikakalcue nyo na lang siya. Okay, so kung itatry ko yan sa calcue, so hindi ko makapakita sa inyo, pero itatry natin siya. So, 10 times 4.36 minus 7 tsaka 6.2 and then sa baba, square root 10 times 5.08 tapos minus 7 square close parenthesis open parenthesis 10 open parenthesis ulit 4.12 close parenthesis minus 6.2 square close parenthesis so making sagot i 0 0.089 Yan. So, yan yung R sub 1 pa lang yan. So, yung R sub 1, that's the correlation between the odd numbered item tsaka sa even numbered item. So, parang ang pinapoint out dyan, since 0.08 siya, masyadong malayo yan sa 1, weak yung relationship nung items. So, kung i-apply natin dito yan sa Spearman-Brown formula, so, we have 2 times R sub 1 which is yung sagot natin. 8, 9, 7. Over 1 plus 0 0.0897. Yan. So, calculate nyo lang yun ulit. So, 2 times 0 0.0897 1 plus 0 0.0897. So, naging sagot ay 0. 1646 which is kung i-interpret natin masyado ding mababa to 1 ibig sabihin by using the Spearman Brown formula or the split half method hindi reliable yung test natin okay so ganun lang siya paano ngayon yan ginagawa sa SPSS so open your SPSS so yan siya you start with the variable view so, nakita nyo din sa baba, may data view, variable view. So, start kayo sa variable view. Labelan nyo muna yung name 
ng mga item. Ngayon, take note na kapag ka uh, split half method using SPSS, kailangan magkakatabi na yung add numbered item tsaka yung even numbered item. So, ang in-name nyo dito, item 1, item 3, yung mga add muna. Item 5, enter. Item 7, item 9. Tapos yung even naman. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, pag pumunta kayo sa data view, nandiyan na yung mga title niyan. Tapos, i-input nyo na lang yung nasa Excel. Pwede nyo siya i-copy. Like, for example, item 1. Copy nyo yung buong column na yan. Lipat nyo dito sa SPSS. So, paste. So, yan siya. Gawin nyo lang sa lahat. So, punta sa Excel. 3 naman. Copy. Punta dito. Paste. So, item 5. Copy. Punta dito. Paste. So, gawin nyo lang. So, 7 and then sa 9. Sa 9 naman. And then, ganun din. So, 2 and then 4 Oops, mali ako ng copy sa mobra. So, ito lang siya. 4 and then 6 and then 8 and then 10 yan so ang kinaganda sa SPSS di mo na kailangan nung mga column na ito yung xy xy x squared y squared so ang kailangan mo na lang dito ina-navigate mo na lang. So, punta ka sa Analyze, then you go to Scale, and then you choose Reliability Analysis. So, after clicking that, may kita niya yung tab na yan. So, ano nang lalagay niyo dyan? Dito sa Items, lagay niyo lang to lahat. So, i-move niyo lang yan. Item 3, double click lang. 5, 7, 9, 2, 4, 6, 8 and then 10. Lagay nyo lang to doon lahat. Tapos, check nyo rin yung settings. Sa statistics, dapat nakacheck yung item tsaka yung correlation. Kasi para makita natin yung correlation ng kada item. Okay, kung gusto nyo lang naman, pero pwedeng hindi. So, click na natin yan. Tapos, descriptives for item. So, continue. Tapos, sa model, doon nyo pipiliin yung split half. Yan, and then, okay. So, may lalabas na na output dyan. So, may kita natin sa output, eto na yung sagot. Correlation between forms. So, kung may kita nyo yan, and 0 0.09, di ba? Check natin. Yan yung exact niya. 0 0.08973. Yun yung R sub 1, which is the correlation. Na kung titignan natin dito, 0 0.09, ah, 0 0.0897. O, dito, 0.0897. Pareha siya. Ngayon, si Spearman brown coefficient is eto. 0 0.165. 0 0.1647. Na kung titignan din natin dito, 0 0.1646. So, parehas lang siya. Okay, so ganun ginagawa yung Spearman brown or yung split half correlation sa Excel at the same time sa SPSS. Okay?